and Photoshop. Okay, so we have your blank screen. Last time I showed you the brush, I'll show you how you can edit. But what you're going to do is look at your layer spout over here. We're always going to add one. Okay, add new layers for everything. So what's the first thing you guys might want to do to this? Add some color to it. You can do that several ways. You can go up to uh, edit, fill. Okay, that's the easiest way to do it. From here, you can choose all kinds of things. You can choose color. If you want to choose a certain color that you want to do. If you want to do the foreground color, that's this right here, which is the black. Background color is the white. If I want to choose my color, I click color. Now we choose. Pick a color, Garen. Say it again. Blue. Now scoot back here so you can see the screen so you don't have to look down at your feet. That looks more of a purple, but on my screen, if you were looking, it would be blue. Okay, and Mason can tell you it's blue. Mm -hmm. On the screen, it's purple. That's just the way it comes across. Yeah. Okay, so right now we have the blue background. Now, let's say I don't want it that blue. Let's say I want it lighter. How do I do that? Could I change the color to lighter? Yes, or if you look, this has a lock to it. I'm going to double click on the lock. And say okay, and we'll change the opacity down. Uh oh, what happened? There's checkered. Checkered means it's see through. I want to add a new layer. And if you notice, I can move these. Okay, right now, layer one has what in it? Absolutely nothing. It's transparent, there's nothing in it. So I'm going to go ahead and add white to it. Edit, fill, white. So now, if you notice, this is lighter. So if I click here, you can see it change. I can change it however I want. So sometimes it's nice just to have that nice white background. And if you don't like it, lock it. So we should have, at the beginning, we could have just kept this locked and add a new layer and colored it, okay? Then we'll change this to a different color. Okay, so now what I wanna do is add pictures. How do we add pictures? File what? Have we went over this yet? File place. Now I think I have a police car on the desktop, so we'll use a police car, I believe. Yep. Okay, you got a police car. Now, if I need to move the size of this, make it smaller or bigger, what do I do? Hold shift as I grab the corner. If I don't, I can smush him. When I'm done with the size of it, I let go and hold enter or push in. <clears throat> now to move this, is very important is I'm just going to use this selection tool. Now, if you notice up here, I have all these boxes selected. And the reason I have that selected is so I can actually do things. If this was not selected, I could not move this or I could not make it bigger or smaller. So I make sure all those are selected so now I can move it. Okay. Now, if I want to have a border around it, what's a border called? You guys remember? I'm not sure if we ever did this or not. If I go over here, you notice over here on the on the layers palette, it's blue and there's some text. Do not double click on the text. You need to double click on the blue. From here, the outside is called a stroke. If I click on the word, another palette comes up. If you notice. I have that. Now, if you turn this in, I'm probably going to tell you it's not very well done. It looks more of what a child would do in third grade because of just one simple button. 
that cleans it up. From being outside to inside, from the rounded edges to a square edge, now it looks more professional. You can change the color if you wanted. You can change the, if you instead of that, you want to have a gradient that goes from black to white. Whatever you choose to do, make sure you do it throughout your entire image. Okay. One last thing. Text. Again, when we do text, do I draw a box? No, I just click. Wake up. And I can put no texting and driving, which this is not the right one, but I just put that. Now, if you notice, I have a downloaded font that I cho chose. You can go download those fonts. Okay. Then we're all going to be taking our photos. Remember, every person is going to be on this photo, on this poster. What you're going to do is make a rectangle, or and if you notice, some of them were circles. If you want to choose one or the other, here's your palette. I'm going to choose the ellipse. I'm going to draw a circle. How do I make it perfect? What button do I need to hold down? Shift. Perfect. I hold down shift. I made a perfect circle. You need now, once you find out how big you want it, you're going to copy it. Copy in is holding down option. Okay, if I hold down option, if you look, double arrows pop up. I'm going to click and drag over. Yeah, I'm doing the poster. Okay, so I have four of them. If you have four members in your group, you have four circles or four rectangles. Now I need to put pictures in them. How do I put pictures on? Baylor? File what? File place. And we'll go ahead and put that same photo in. Now, if you look, I want it inside the circle. Now, if you look over here, I'm going to hit enter. This right, this circle is underneath it. This one is right here. What I'm going to do is I want the photo above the circle that you want it to be in. Then if I click on the layer that the photo is, I'm going to right-click on it. What's right-click? Well, I think you can do two fingers. Is that right? Nope. Control-click. You might have it set up that way, but control-click and then create clipping mask. Now that photo only goes within that circle. Then I hold shift. So you want to put the person's face there. Then you do that for all of them. File, place. I'll do a screenshot. This one. Put it above that one. Then I hit enter. Then I right click, control click, and clipping mask. <clears throat> now let's say I want to circle, uh, uh, stroke around the edge of this. Now, would I put that on the picture or would I put that on the circle? The circle, because a picture is actually a square. So I'm going to double click here. And I can do that. Now, on the circles, you really don't need to because there's no rounded edges inside, circle, outside. Just make sure they're all the same. Okay. So that's how you do simple borders, simple circles. Another thing that you can do is, if you notice, one of them was creative. They did this. They made rectangles. They just made simple rectangles. I need to undo that. Oh, I'm going to lose my recording. But then I can take another one, like so, copy it, overlap. Change the transparencies of them. You notice some of the examples I have do this. Okay. Questions about some of this little things.